What I'm doing for my PhD is I'm um, getting my PhD in mechanical engineering specifically in the, in the subfield of fluid mechanics and even, even more deeper in the computational fluid dynamics, uh, and, or yeah, which is called CFD. And what I work on is multi-phase or multi-component cal calculations or computation, uh, specifically looking at bubble dynamics inside of very soft tissue. So imagine, you know, can you look at your own hand like this, you see how I'm flexing this, you ask yourself, this material, this tissue, our epidermis, is it a solid or is it a liquid? As this water bottle, as you can see here, I have this water, you can see it's clearly moving, deforming, but this is solid, it takes a lot to deform it. But then you look at your tissue and say, where is, is this a solid or a liquid? It's somewhere in between. So now to make the problem more complicated, imagine we put bubbles in there using ultrasound or something, some kind of fancy technique. And you say, why would you want to put bubbles in there? Well, if you put bubbles in there, you see them mechanically vibrate very, very violently and then collapse and emit a very powerful, what we call a shock wave or discontinuity and pressure. If we do that, it allows for very precise ablation or destruction of certain pathogenic tissue or cancerous tissues, particularly prostate and breast cancer. So that's some of the technologies that have been developed by biomedical engineers. However, this phenomena happens so fast and it's so small it is sometimes difficult to capture the dynamics of how the tissue actually gets destroyed, how it gets ablated. My research on a computational fluid dynamics setting focuses on understanding those physics and understanding those dynamics. And so, and, it, and it's ultimately aimed at a really good cause, which is being able to develop a therapy tools to treat breast and prostate cancer without the need of surgery, which could be invasive, which can be potentially hazardous. This will be completely non-invasive without the need of surgery, something you can, the patient can have as a treatment and being very precise and only removing the cancerous tissue that needs to be removed and leaving the completely healthy tissue completely intact. And that remaining slurry that gets left over, amazing thing the human body does, that remaining slurry actually gets the body, and this is a, to me phenomenal, the body either passes it through, right? So either if you have a prostate cancer, for example, no, no let's, say, let's say somebody had prostate cancer, for example, they would simply urinate out that, or the human body would use it to recreate brand, or to create brand new healthy cells. And I thought that was fascinating, that, that could, the body can do that, but that's what, it, what, could, what could happen from this kind of, but it, again, that therapy tool still needs to be more developed and my research aims at further developing that therapy tool.